Hello everyone, this is Brother Rick. Just wanted to come to you with our weekly uh, Wednesday devotion. And uh, we're gonna be in the book of John today, uh, chapter 13. You know, we talk about things that went on uh, in the week of, um, of Christ's life right before he was crucified and then rose again, which is what, of course, we celebrate this Easter. And one of those things that um, we always celebrate as Free Will Baptists, but something that we always talk about during this week was an event that happened in the book of John, and that's when Jesus washes the disciples' feet. So I'm just going to read this passage of Scripture with you uh, if you want to take your Bible and follow along, and then we'll give a little explanation on why Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. This is John chapter 13. It says, Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart out of this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. During supper, when the devil had already put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him, Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going back to God, rose from supper, lay aside his outer garments, and taking a towel, tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel he had wrapped around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, do you wash my feet? And Jesus answered him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but afterward you will understand. So Peter said to him, You shall never wash my feet. And Jesus answered him, If I do not wash your feet, you have no share with me. Simon said to him, Lord, not just my feet, but also my hands and my head. And Jesus said to him, The one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet, but is completely clean. And you are clean, but not every one of you. For he knew who it was to betray him. That was why he said, not all of you are clean. Verse 12, when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garment and resumed his place, he said to them, do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for I am. If I then am your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you should also should do as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is the messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. You know, in the Middle Eastern culture where Jesus lived during that time, uh, most everyone wore sandals or some sort of open-toed shoe, and they didn't have uh, pavement and concrete as we have today. Most of their roads were dusty dirt roads. So it was uh, kind of part of the culture that when people would travel to place to place, uh, their feet would be dirty. And when they would come into the home of a guest, um, or when they would be the guest in the home, uh, someone in that household would come and wash their feet. Normally it would either be a servant or it would be the, uh, the youngest child who was able to do it uh, would wash the feet of the guest. So for Jesus to come to his disciples after they've eaten uh, the Passover meal, the Last Supper uh, that we read about in the Bible, um, Jesus does something unusual. He gets up, he puts a towel around himself, and he begins to wash his disciples' feet. And Peter questioned this because as Jesus was the master, it was unheard of that he would be the one who would wash the feet of his own servants. But Jesus was teaching a great lesson. And this is the lesson that I want you to get from this today. And it's a lesson on servant leadership and servanthood. He tells his disciples that uh, none of them are greater than the other and that he is washing their feet so they should wash one another's feet. And the lesson for us today is, uh, you know, we should love one another and we should be willing to serve one another. Now, the washing of the feet was just an act of humility, but, you know, we are to take that on every day in life. So if you really want to have some fun with your kids tonight, go get a basin and a towel, uh, bring it in to your wife and kids and tell them, hey, well, I'm about to wash your feet. Now they'll look at you like you're crazy, but there is a very valuable lesson to be learned. Maybe you don't want to get out the basin and wash feet specifically, but learning the lesson of serving one another, uh, that just as parents, we serve our children sometimes. As children, our children should serve their siblings and one another at times. Uh, there's a great lesson for all of us today in society to learn uh, that was given to us by our Savior. So I hope you're having a blessed week this week leading up to, to Easter. 
Uh, you know, a couple things uh, will be taking place. You know, we normally uh, celebrate Good Friday and then, of course, Resurrection Sunday. And uh, I know your churches may be doing some different things this weekend. Uh, but one way or another, you think about the things that Jesus Christ taught in the last week of his life and how important it was for him to teach servant leadership and to be humble with one another. Thank you for checking out our video today. Uh, you can uh, check us out at sulfursprings.church or on our Facebook page. Uh, where we have all kind of information and resources for you. And if there's anything that we can do for you to help you, please don't hesitate to call us, 205-333-3200. Uh, God bless you and have a great afternoon.